Five of hearts on the turn, so Dotto still out in front with the two eights. He's going to dodge a jack, a 10, a nine, or a club. Now there you see the leaderboard, Andrea Dotto, the Italian pro out in front with 1.6 million. Second place, the other Italian, Alessandro Longobardi. So right now the Italian's on top trying to take down this time. All right, and he's a 5,000, Blinds a 20 and 40. Action going to Dotto, he quickly folds the hand. Now it's on the Dane. The junk man plays almost anything. And he's got a 10, six of diamonds. Well, Vince, right now he's on the short stack here, but it's not slowing him down, as you can see. Looks like he is gonna raise it with a 10, six, and indeed he is, makes it 80,000 to go. Yes, he does, into Renat. Only been playing poker for three years. He's got a king nine. Not much of a hand, really, but against a guy like Simon, who seemingly raises every pot, it might be enough for the Russian to get involved here, and it certainly looks like he's going to get involved. Oh, boy, yeah, he's got that raising chips. He's getting involved with a hammer. He's making it 200,000 to go. Alessandro out. Back on the Dane. He really can't afford at this point. You know, the problem is he's only got a little over 600,000 left here in chips. Yeah, he's going to fold the hand. Nice re-raise by the Russian there to take down that pot. This is the Russian's first ever WPT event. And he was the only player to come to this final table that was a non-professional poker player. Works in finance. <clears throat> what an event he's having. All right. Back to the felt. Pair of deuces here for Simon Ransbeck. He somehow put himself on the short stack. He was the chip leader at one time here tonight. I'm all in. And now he's going to push all in. Going all in for about 600,000 here. Behind him, the Russian peeked down at a pair of tens. I don't see him going anywhere. That is a big hand. Call. Cool. Cool. And of course, he's going to call this. These are not the words Simon wanted to hear. Alessandro out, and so is Andrea. So we have a showdown. Well, he knows the best he can be is in a race, and that's not the case as his opponent turns up an over pair. Simon Good luck. So right now, the Dane in trouble. Well, he's in trouble, but he's played brilliant poker tonight. He has mixed it up better than anyone at the table. He has won with nothing hands. He's a very clever poker player, but now he needs some luck, Mike. Yeah, well, he's played pretty loose, but a little too loose on occasion. Here the flop comes, eight, seven, six. Two tens out in front. The only way Simon can win this pot, he must catch a deuce. The scarf is tightening on the... Dane right now, needs some luck. Turn card comes up, it's a queen, not gonna help the Dane. Well, there you see, the Dane wins because he knows that takes away one of his two outs. The deuce of spade will not win it for him now, his opponent will make a flush. He can only catch the deuce of clubs to survive. No, we're not in a great position to double up, knock out another man, and be down to three players. Here we go with the river. Ooh. And it's an eight. So that's going to do it for Simon Roundsback. Good game. Very good game. Good, good player. Well, Vance, he started out in good shape. He went down to the low stack, came back, took the chip lead, went back down again, and then out with the two deuces. Yeah, up and down. His stack went all night. He's our fourth place finish. Going to take home 52,000 euros. Wow. Let's see what he has to say about that. Basically, I just tried to, to play my game. I'm really disappointed right now. I uh, expected a lot more. Um, Misplayed a couple of hands. Uh, yeah, really disappointed. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. Vince, you and I have a little difference of opinion. We believe there's a price for everything, unlike the attack. Well, he says it's priceless, but I heard he takes 600 for it. <laughs> Only kidding. Let's get back to the table. Three players remain. Action on the man from Naples, Italy, Alessandro Langobardi. He's got the button. He's got king five of hearts. And he's going to fold. And now, Andrea Dotto, he's from Rome, looks down at a seven deuce of clubs, his fourth WPT event, his second WPT final table. Right here in Venice. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously a very aggressive player. He's just called here. Now, we're not with a jack nine of hearts has raised. I know this is good table presence here by the Russian. He knows that this Italian had a hand. He'd raised him himself. That didn't happen, so he just went ahead and popped him up. Yeah, made it 90,000 to go. Here's the flop. Oh, oh, wow. What a flop for the Italian. It's come king, queen, four all clubs. He's flopped a flush. The Russian drawing completely dead with two cards to go. Andrea checks it. Dig in the ditch. Put the leaves and the twigs over the hole. Waiting for the sucker to fall in. It's Renat. He's got a bet at 100,000. <clears throat> oh, now, boy. Acting here. They have Italian Oscars, Vince. Yes. The guy's going for one here. Obviously, he's going to play the hand. He flopped as good a flop as you could get. It's like an Italian Shakespearean actor. But you're always leery your opponent might have a bigger club in his hand. So you hate to just call to give him a free draw at that flush. I live on the edge. Sucker the guy in. Give him another card. No, nope, he's nope. going to raise it. He is going to raise it. Well, he's thinking the guy might have two kings where he'll play the pot. He might have the ace of clubs where he's going to continue playing the pot. You know, it's got an inside straight draw. That's about it. Well, obviously, if he knew what he had, he wouldn't raise it here. Yep. He just called and came check and opened the oh. bet. But oh. Yeah, what the Russian's going to give this up. Yeah, Dotto going to take down that pot and, and increase the chip lead. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Sometimes with the worst hand, just a seven deuce, it turns out to be a great hand. And right there, the Royal Flush Girl sitting here looking beautiful in it's the oldest limp. casino in yes. the world. Leap in the dark. Leap in the dark. All right, yeah. three handed poker <laughs> continues. Lines 20 and 40,000. Action going to the Russian, Renat Bogdanov. Okay, Limp in the dark. And he's in a good mood here tonight. Uh, really? You you uh, saw your cards or not? Yeah. Limp no in so. the dark. No, so? Not really? So. Yes, really. Okay. A tournament for a WPT title. In the dark. He yeah. hasn't looked, he says. You are not lying, right? And not lying. Limping. Wow. You don't see that often. Yeah, how come when they usually when they limp, they say they didn't look, they usually have a monster? That's on Alessandro. And he's got a king three and a small blind, but he knows the other guy hadn't looked, so well, yeah. he's going to make the call here. And now Dato happy to get a free flop here with a 10-5 offsuit. So nobody knows what the Russian has. He's got ace queen, a oh. powerful hand that he would have raised with for sure on the button. I didn't know what he had. And now look what's happened. He's gotten out flop as it's come six, five, deuce. Alessandro has a gut shot straight draw. And he has checked. Dotto out in front right now with the two fives. Now Dotto's going to bet. 60,000. No, we're not. Mm. Who did not look at his hand when he called pre flop. Now all of a sudden going to call with the ace high. Alessandro out. Oh, and a five comes off. The Italian has made trips. He's got three fives. Dotto is first to act now. What a card he just hit. And he's going to bet it. Nothing sneaky. He's just going to stick a bet of 185,000 out there. Hoping the Russian does something silly. Well, he's drawing completely dead, as we can see. He can catch no card to win this pot with. So whatever he puts in this pot, he can kiss goodbye. I mean, how can he not just get away from this hand, Vince? Well, sometimes when you play fancy and you don't look, and uh, you, you're more obligated to play out the hand and make some stupid moves. It just seems like that. Well, that must be the case, because it looks like that's what the Russian's doing. Oh, boy. He is. Raise. Oh, he's going to raise no. it. Can you believe the way this hand is played? He called in the dark, mm. free flop, and now he called on the flop and is raising on the turn when there's not a card in the deck he can catch to win the pop. Yep, he's going to make it 370,000. Doesn't know whether now to come back over the top. He just call. He might not know it, but the best thing he can do is call right here. Give his opponent a chance to bluff again at it. Call. And that's exactly what he's done. 
most guys would be afraid if a heart would come up, or a straight car would come up, or a six would come up, or something, or even a nine where there's a possible straight out there. Dato did just call, and now he's checking to give the Russian a chance to really do a kamikaze on himself. Check. Wow, it's a good slowdown by the Russian. Well, the Russian just gives it up on the river. Oh, sorry. Well, Vance, the lesson here is don't just limp in on the button in the three-handed poker game playing for a WPT title with Ace Queen. It'll come back to bite you. That's exactly what happened there. The guy in the big blind with a 10-5 off suit ends up winning a nice pot. Well, that's what we've seen tonight is on occasion Dotto and most of the time the Dane that was in here, Simon, you know, they believe in that old axiom. There's no such thing as a bad hand, just a bad flop. <laughs> All right, back to the table. Alessandro with a very solid ace jack. Alessandro is what we call the most solid player at the table. I mean, he makes the least moves. He's usually always got a hand when he comes in the pot. Well, he's made it 120 to go. Andrea with a queen six. Wow. Look at this, man. He's just played the seven deuce for a raise a minute ago. Now he's got the queen six off suit. He's going to three bet here. Whoa. It's incredible aggressiveness by this Italian. It's an additional 150, makes it 270 to go. And Renat is going to peek down. Pretty bad 9-6 off suit. Can't yeah. expect him to play that. Nope. He's not going to get involved. And now Alessandro. Well, I'm sure this guy's played Molly. the Italian before. Knows how aggressive it is. Quickly goes all in with the ace jack. A bold play, and it pays off for him. That's a nice read on your opponent right there. Yep, Alessandro Longo Barty. He plays tight and waits for opportunities. <laughs> That's what he did right there. Taken down at the end. Lines are up to 40 and 80,000. Very expensive. Actions on Dotto. Looks down to the pair of threes here, Mike. We've seen him go crazy with two deuces so far at this final table. So let's see what he's going to do with the threes. All in. Well, he says all in with it. Well, there you go. No monkeying around. The Russian's out. And Alessandro has a pretty solid ace-10 here. Well, that's nearly all the time someone moves in for about a million bucks. They've got an ace and a baby card or a small pair. This happens about 90% of the time. So if Alessandro realizes that, he'll make this call with the ace-10. Cool, cool. Oh, yeah, he's going to make the call. It's the right one. I like the call, even though it's a race situation. He could have been dominating his opponent. Now he just got a race to try to win the pot. Good luck. So one man from Rome, one from Naples, going after each other in the oldest casino in the world here in Venezia. Dotto's tournament life on the line with the threes. So far, so good. Queen 6-4 is the flop. A little pair of threes out in front. Everybody on their feet. Yeah, threes. Just a measly pair of threes in front at this time. Well, an eight comes off. So far, so good for Andrea Dato. Remember, the last time he had this race situation, his opponent outdrew him on the river to beat him. Could it possibly happen again? I don't know. We will see. Down to the river. Two Italians going after each other. And a deuce comes off. So Andrea Dato stays alive by winning the race. The two three standing up. And we've still got three players left fighting for this title. Oh, well, it's a great hold up as the Royal Flush girls enjoy the moment. Dotto, who came in as a chip leader, now back in as a chip leader. Well, Vance, even though the call didn't work out for Alessandro, I like his thinking there. His opponent could have easily had an ace and a baby card where he could have had the best hand and won the pot. All right, plays going to Dotto again. This time, he's got another wired pair, pair of eights. Yeah. He's got a raise with it. Makes it 160. Or not. Not going to play. And Alessandro looks at a jack nine of clubs. Well, he just lost the last pot with an ace 10 to the two threes. Let's see what he's going to do with the jack nine. He's got 80,000 out there. Plus him another 80,000 to make the call, but remember, 
got about 900,000 left. Taking his time. Doesn't really have to panic at this point. Money. He's going all in. Cool. And quickly, Dado calls him with the two eights. So Alessandro's in the best spot he can be in. The two overcards. It's Jack nine versus two eights. Well, you gotta think to yourself, with that last hand, put Alessandro on tilt a little bit here. Got super aggressive with this. And we haven't seen him get aggressive like this all night long, but you're right, Vince, maybe that last beat forcing him to move in here. Oh, that's come king, queen, four with two clubs. Dotto does not like that. His opponents flop, they straight flush draw, but his two eights are still out in front. Both men up on their feet. Huge moment in their poker life right now. Dotto's friends sweat their man. Fourth street. Five of hearts on the turn, so Dotto still out in front with the two eights. He's gonna dodge a jack, a 10, a nine, or a club. It's a lot of outs for his fellow Italian. All the money's in for Alessandro. Can he get lucky? It's a nine. He He's lost on the river again for the second time in a race situation. We still have three players left. Yeah. Big Holy. smile for Alessandro. <laughs> Spike in the nines on Boy, the river. Well, you see the heartbreak on Andrea Dato right there. For the second time, he raced for a giant pot to eliminate a player this final table, and he got beat on the river. Yes, he did. That is just the ultimate torture. He is crushed. There you see the scarf coming off. It's warm in here now, Vinny. No place for a scarf after that. <laughs> we have three players remaining. He started this event with 155 players, all putting up huge dollars here in Europe. And first to play right now is Alessandro. He's got a miserable looking 8-5, and he takes a pass on that. Dato now gonna squeeze a king four. All in. Going all in with just a king four off suit. Go. Cool. Ace king for Renat. Well, the Russian quickly calls him, and this time the Italian has stubbed his toe He's in about as bad a spot as he can be in. It's Ace King versus King Four. Well, Lady Luck has not been smiling on Andrea so far at this final table. He'll need it to smile big to win this fight. As the cards lie, the Russian just over a three to one favorite to win the pot. And now much more so as an Ace comes on the flop. Come Ace, Queen Eight. For Dotto to win this pot, it's gotta come four, four. The Jack 10, they would split the pot. Disappointment, overwhelming in the room. The three comes that's off. So that's going to do it for the likable Italian, Andrea Dato, out in third place. That's all around. Respect for the guy. Played a great tournament. Man, just Lady Luck wasn't smiling on him when it needed to be. Lost so many critical races at this final table. Just wasn't meant to be tonight for Andrea. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, what can I say? I lost the, the most important showdown. I lost two big flips. One of them would have been enough. I think I was the best player among the three remaining. So, yeah, I'm really disappointed, but that's it. You know, that's poker. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. But not with an ace eight has made it 200,000 to go. And Alessandro looks down at a jack 10 off suit. 80 out there, so it costs him another 120 to make the call. Well, he is going to make the call. So here we go. Now flop comes Jack, 8-4. The Italian out in front now with two Jacks. Yep, he outflopped them, and he's going to check it. We're not hitting a pair of eights here. Wow, he checks second pair and top kicker. Amazing. And now an ace comes off. Whoa. He's got aces and eights. 
Well, Sancho wisely checks. Well, that's known as the dead man's hand. Ace is an ace, and the Italian could be a dead man if he's not careful here. And they're not coming out the bet. Looks like 200,000. Well, the Italian probably kicking himself for not betting on the flop right now. Fearful his opponent might have an ace in his hand. He's certainly trying to represent one. He's got more than an ace in his hand. Italian makes the call. Must catch a jack as the cards lie to win the pot. Nothing else will do. And now a seven comes off. No help for Alessandro. And it's on him first. He's going to check again with his jacks. Now the Russian has to figure out how much to bet. To get paid off. Well, over 800,000 in the pot. He's going to bet 360000 a nice bet by the Russian here. It could be an amount that he could get paid off. In. The guy called him on the turn after the ace hit. Will he call him again on the river? Oh, no limit. Poker, that is the art of the game, is knowing exactly how you get paid off the maximum amount. Bet sizing critical if you want to become a winning poker player. Was it too much? Will they chase Alessandro away, or will he get this action? Oh, whoa, one card in the muck, and that means two good cards fold. going to the muck. I don't know. Down. The Russian tells you know? a good fold, and indeed it was. I hate hearing so. good fold when the guy doesn't show. There's so much lying in poker. Come on. Oh. Never say that unless you're going to show the hand. <laughs> don't make me second guess you. But right there. The Russian, Renat Bognadov, taking that pot, extending his chip lead. We're right back at him. The Russian now has over a two to one chip lead in this heads up battle. Alessandro from Naples, Italy. He's got a solid king queen. He's certainly going to raise with this hand. Former sports better, now professional poker player. Likes to describe his game as very tight. Doesn't like the bluff, he says. He's kind of proven that tonight. But this time with a solid hand, makes it 200,000 to go. Good not with just a 6-4 of clubs. Well, he's got money in there already. Yeah, he's got one of those hands you like to see flops with. He makes the call, and here is the flop. And Queen 7-4, great flop for the Italian. He's got top pair. The Russian has bottom pair. Not with the bottom pair is going to check first. And Alessandro with a beautiful top pair, big kicker. I'm not going to deceive here. He's coming out with a continuation bet, it looks like. Taking his time, putting the chips in, 160 grand. I'm surprised he let him off a little cheap there. Well, he wants action here, Vince. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's cool. got the best hand here. Indeed, he does. And indeed, it's working. Well, Renat has called it. Here we go with the turn. Oh, a six comes off. Oh, boy. Just a dream card for the Russian here. He's now out in front with two pair. This is why you don't give bargains on the flop when you're out in front. And now, or not, he's first to act, and he's going to check. I think he's going to check raise here, Vince. Well, he just wants to trap the Italian, and it looks like he may succeed. You got top pair of queens. You gotta, you're going to go. That kicker. This is just. You are right, Vince. It is a train wreck here for the Italian. 240,000 to bet. And you make a put it all in now. That's, I think you have to raise here just about. There's a possible straight out there. Two card flush out there. I could have a hand like he's got, two queens. Cool. But he just calls. He does not re-raise here with the two pair that he just made. And he's walking the dog once again. Down to the river we go. And a four comes off. The Russians made a full house. 
And the Italian's going to have a hard time getting away from this hand. Incredible. Chip. He is checking, hoping that his man is going to bet again. I think he sized it up perfectly. You think the guy's going to bet queens if he's got queens here, and he may bluff at it if he has nothing. So you check to him, you throw him some rope, and here comes the Italian. Yep, 380,000. Oh boy. Right now he's on the gondola with no oars, I can tell you that. He is digging his own grave. We're not looking over. Oh, boy. Some bad Russian acting right there. What's going on? Oh, well, there he goes. He's very casual. All in. Alejandro. Oh, boy. He's feeling it for the first time. Well, Vince, he started this pot with about a million and a half. He's got about 950,000 invested in this pot, so he doesn't have that much money left to throw this hand away, even though I'm sure he feels like it's no good. Yeah, he's coming to the realization, did this guy just trap me? Is he really doing this to me? If he calls it, it is over, Mike. Wow, Charlie. Oh, Okay, cool. He's hey. going to call it. He's made the call. Just doesn't feel like he's got enough chips not to. And the Russian is going to be our champion. Renat Bogdanov has done it, Vince. He certainly has. Tricky play by Renat. The Russian only been playing for three years. He has succeeded here. Sorry. He's our champion. Well, he played it beautifully. He sucked the Italian in. Reno, only been playing for three years, has taken this victory. He is the winner here at Venice. Once again, our champion, Renat